So we're really excited that our 7 Elite Academy is now uh, opening up here in the UK uh, in what will be in one of the most uh, iconic football cities uh, in the world, uh, in Liverpool. Uh, it just shows you the growth of 7 Elite Academy where you know, we started off in, in the US, in Utah, Salt Lake City and, and just seeing how, how fast it's grown within the US. Uh, a few months ago, we went into a different continent in Africa. Uh, we're now up and running in Tanzania. And now to bring it here uh, in what you would call the home of football is, is truly special for Seven Elite Academy and, and we're really proud to be here. Well, I think the values and what the academy stands for and all the coaching staff and obviously going over and working with staff, not just in the UK, but working with staff in the USA. Uh, I think the values and the core beliefs are really good and it's a good thing for the kids to have in their lifestyle. Well, I think that's the massive one that off the pitch as well, what type of person they can be off the pitch as well as being a good player. Um, I think that's massive and I think that's not just going to follow them through football but through life as well. It's fantastic and you know Liverpool is a, a footballing city and football is what, what brings all the kids and families and environments together so yeah what, what a better place to start it. It's, it's uh, very helpful, helpful for us to go far in life and for playing football. If I ever make it as a football, end of my career, I'd love to go and play for LA Galaxy. Uh, it's good, and they do loads of stuff together. Um, that um, you get to have more chances and get to play in um, different tournaments over in America and get more chances to play against good teams and better scouts. Fantastic. I mean, my lad Ben plays for, for Rob's team under 13s and you know they've won they've won all kinds of things sort of not just this year but in previous years as well. I mean they are probably one of the the best grassroots football teams in the in the well in the city really, if not beyond. So yeah, they are a, a good side. Um, and Steve Mitchell's side um, the under elevens, my lad Luke plays for them and they've got the makings of a really good team. They've they've been in a couple of finals this year and unfortunately got beat but you know, they've been unlucky um, not to win something, but you know, you can see the developments coming along nicely and you think in another, you know, in another year or two's time they'll be <clears throat> excuse me, winning all kinds. It's a little bit different to grassroots football in, in the UK now. Um, you know, there's opportunities for scholarships, there's opportunities for um, playing adult football, opportunities for players to de develop themselves in coaching. Um, so it's opened up a wide range of opportunities for the players. What we're here to do is to bring the professional emphasis to the youth game, uh, our knowledge, our experience, uh, and, and to give the players, uh, the coaches, um, and also the parents uh, all the right ingredients that you don't necessarily see in, in grassroots football and, and, and just really give it all the support that we can. Uh, to give obviously these kids, you know, all all the factors, all the considerations, all the ingredients needed to to kind of give them a really exciting childhood within grassroots football.